coming to you from RGIS Studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The Ministry of Health and Wellness in collaboration with the Department of External Affairs is coordinating a humanitarian mission visit by the United States Naval Ship Comfort from September 23, 2019 to October 2, 2019. While in St. Lucia, the ship will be berthed at Podcast Trees with two walk-in clinics for general services, one at the OKEU Hospital and another location which will be confirmed in September. Medical Officer of Health Dr. Sharon Belma george says the services will be free of charge and open to all who need medical care. Dr. Belma george notes, however, that a request from a local doctor is needed for diagnostic procedures and a referral from a physician is needed for surgical procedures as these procedures are pre-scheduled. During its deployment in the region, the ship will also visit Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, St. Kitts, Jamaica, the Dominican Republic and Haiti. The Events Company of St. Lucia is the host of the latest series of workshops targeting the youth and the creative arts industry as part of its activities leading up to the Roots and Soul Festival. The organization held a performance poetry workshop last week at the Nikud Public Library with London-based performer and poet Kamaya Lisette as its facilitator. A group of students from the Nikud community were treated to not just an early performance but an entire day of learning about creative writing from the St. Lucian-born, London-raised poet and educator who will be taking the stage on Friday, August 23rd for the opening night of the 2019 Roots and Soul Festival. The Roots and Soul Festival is the third component of the St. Lucia Summer Festival and featured another free performance poetry workshop on Thursday at the Bay Gardens Hotel for students over the age of 11. The Government of St. Lucia sought to strengthen the Gaming, Racing and Betting Act with a number of amendments made to the Act at the last sitting of Parliament. Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs and the Public Service, Honourable Alan Chastney, indicated that the move was necessary to ensure greater clarity as it relates to the betting and gaming in St. Lucia, especially with the Desert Star Holding Project, which includes a horse racing track to come on stream. The Act following the amendment in 2018 was tested for six months after which it was realized that several adjustments were necessary such as the modification of definitions and board stipulations to name a few. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.